Hi everyone, so I'm back. I'm going to be doing a playing with makeup slash trying out what I think will be my wedding makeup. My face is really, really shiny. It's because I use this Cinch Face Cheetah Cream Moisturizer Plus Glow. I always love putting this on if I want my makeup to be super, super glowy underneath without being too shiny looking because once I put on foundation and stuff, it doesn't look over the top at all. So let's see how we go with it. I might not stick to this. I've still got about three and a half months to go, but I definitely have a look in mind and I'll probably just tweak up the products as I go along. I'm sure this is not going to be the last video like this. So I'm just going to go straight in with foundation and use the Makeup Atelier Waterproof Foundation. This stuff I absolutely love. I've got so many different... Oh god, I dropped one. I've got so many different shades of this stuff. I absolutely love it. So I'm going to work out what shade I might be. I did wash off the developing layer of my tan. And I look a lot more tanned in my camera than I do in real life. So I'm just going to try and work out what color will match me the best. So I'm going to mix a little bit of Gilded Beige, which is this one here. And then a little bit of the shade Nude. And then I might actually just add a little bit of... Becca Liquid Illuminator in the shade Moonstone. I love this foundation because it honestly is so long wearing. I can't even describe it. It really just stays on the skin. Should have added a little bit more of that nude color because that nude color is quite a lot lighter. But yeah, so this foundation, it lasts an amazingly long time on the skin. And I would say that it is really close to being waterproof. And it also provides amazing coverage. And then I'm just going to go in with my beauty blender and just pat that into the skin to make sure it's all well blended. I've zoomed you guys in a little bit, so hopefully it is a bit better now. I'm going to be using my Huda Beauty, what is this thing called? Tantua Contouring Bronzing Cream. I don't, I really want to pick up the NARS one in Laguna, but I honestly don't even know if my local Mecca still has any in stock. But I'm just going to swipe this around my face. This is the cream contour that I've been using when I feel like cream contouring. Either this one or the Cover FX one. Oh dear, I put a little bit too much on that side. So I mainly just put it on where my cheekbones are and then just to try and make my forehead a little bit less wide. This one is the Cover FX one that I love using. It's in the shade G70 and I really like using that as well. Depending on how I go with this, I might add it to the top. And you can really see both that... Becca highlighter as well as the moisturizer that I used underneath and it's really really shining through When I practiced this the other day, I feel like I was a lot more tanned I did use the Sandro Pay tanner that day and today I used the Le Tan one so it was still the ultra dark But it's for some reason doesn't really go that dark on my skin the color dark the color guide is super dark on the Le Tan one but when you actually wash it off, you're not really like, you do notice a colour there, but it's definitely not dark whatsoever. I'm just going to add a little bit of corrector underneath my eyes. This is just by Pixi, and it's just like a peachy colour, or a salmony colour, I should say. And I'm just going to pat that underneath my eyes to get rid of that darkness, where you can really see a difference. Okay, I'm going to apply a little bit of Fenty Eyelid Primer. I really should have done this at the start, but I'm going to do it now. Wipe off any extra, and just apply a little bit. Same with the other side. This is one of the only eye primers that I can use that actually stops my eyelids from becoming really, really oily. This one and the NARS one, they're the only two that I've found that have really done the job. If you don't have oily eyelids, then you can definitely skip this step. But if you always find your eyeshadow creasing, no matter how good the eyeshadows are, I would really recommend that you pick up the Fenty Pro Filter Invisi Pink Eye Primer. Now, for my concealer, I am going to be using a few underneath my eyes. Seems excessive, and I definitely do not do this for every day, but for special occasions, I do. Um, I'm going to start off by using the Kevin Aquan uh, Essential Skin Enhancer in SX06, and I'm just going to pat a little bit underneath my eyes. And I only use the Essential Skin Enhancer underneath my eyes. I feel like either there or if I have any particular blemishes, but if I use it anywhere else, it's just way too heavy. And I am going to use over the top without blending it in already. I'm going to use two Tarte Shape Tapes because I don't really have the right color for me at the moment. But I do have Fair Neutral and Medium Sand. I'm going to use a combination of both. And hopefully that will give me enough brightness underneath my eyes and then along other parts of my face. So I'm just going to go three dots under both sides of my eye. It's not a lot of product either. 
It may seem that way, but I promise you, it's not. And I just use whatever's left over my sponge to do my cupid's bow and the tip of my nose. And I'm going to take whatever leftover concealer I have onto my eyelids as well to provide a skin coloured base to work with. I tried using a blush pencil thing, completely didn't work, so I'm just going to try and use my sponge to dab it out. And I guess that's why this is a trial, because I definitely will not be using that on the day. Sorry about that, guys. My camera battery died. Okay, so I'm going to be taking my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, and I'm going to be using this underneath my eyes, as well as all over my face to set. Just going to grab a bit on my Beauty Blender. I always like using a dry Beauty Blender. A lot of people prefer using it, like, moistened. Sorry, that's my shape. Yeah, a lot of people prefer it moistened. I really don't. Um, sorry, I think my sheep can hear me. So I don't want to necessarily bake, I more so just want to push the powder into my skin, under my eyes. I always like to make sure that my eyelids are nicely powdered um, in preparation for my eyeshadow because otherwise it is not a fun time and it's really really patchy. I'm just making sure that my outer perimeters on my face are set because I definitely do not want random bits of like bronzer or highlighter or anything like that being overly intense. I'm going to do my brows. I'm using my Nabla Neptune Brow Pot. Yeah, Brow Pot. This is the colour of it here. I'm really, really enjoying this colour at the moment. I will try an Anastasia one again just to see which one's got the better colour. But for now, I've been really enjoying the Neptune. Brows are on. I'm going to start on the eyes and I'm going to be using my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer to start off. I absolutely love this stuff. It's one of my favourite things. And I've been using this product for years. And honestly, I feel like nothing compares. Like, I just feel like I look my best when I use like the products that I really love. Like my, tri like my tried and true, ride or die, like these make me feel so great products. So I've just put that in my crease because I just love the tone of it. I much prefer it, even though it is like the light chocolate one, I much prefer the tone of it to almost any other bronzer on the market, to be honest. I'm now going to start using my Vizart palette. This is the Neutral Mattes palette. I really honestly hardly use this palette, but I am going to use this grey-ish brown here and mix it with a little bit of that one. And I'm going to put it on my outer corner here because I really want it to be nice and defined on the outer corner. These are really, really pigmented as well. And then I'm just going to grab that same brush that I used for the Too Faced bronzer, and I'm just going to buff that into the crease. I might actually take the dark brown from this Viseart palette. I really do love Viseart as a brand. Um, I think their eyeshadows are gorgeous, honestly. It's really hard to do like similar looks, just because... I feel like both my eyes look quite different. I'm definitely not going for this winged look. It's going to be all buffed out and blended, I really hope. I do find these shadows are quite easy to blend as well. Like, as long as you have a colour that's already been put down, it's really quite easy. I'm really not liking that, though. I've really got to work on my eyeshadow because I'm not really happy with this today. I'm just going to use this brush to try and, like, blend the edges a little bit. There's no product on it, or at least, like, I haven't added any product onto it. Oh my god, I actually feel like my eyeshadow is a complete mess. I might just do my bottom lashes now and just kind of see how I go. Who knows? I'm hoping it's one of those things where I absolutely hate it right now, but then once I've actually finished the look, I'm like, oh my god, I love it. But right now, it's kind of a bit, yeah. So I'm still using this brown here. Because some of the darkness kind of went on the like on the bottom, it's already kind of done that look for me. So I'm just going to try and replicate it to this eye. And I try not to take too much of the dark shadow too far in because I do have smaller eyes. I don't want it to close it in. So I kind of try and stop it where like the color of my eye stops. So I have about this much bare. I honestly have no idea how this is going to look, but whatever. I'm now going to use this shade from Inglot. I don't actually know the shade name. That kind of gives them a better color representation. I'm leaning a bit more towards this one just because my bridesmaid dresses are grey, so that's going to be a bit more of a cooler tone. To be completely honest, I don't hate it now that it's all finished. I do need to do a bit more blending in this corner, and I honestly do not know if it's going to work. I'm just going to use a little bit of eyeliner just so that when I put on my lashes, 
there will be something to help disguise the band. Now I'm going to curl my eyelashes and put on a little bit of lash primer because I honestly feel like this lash primer makes such a difference. It's from Tarte. I think it's called Opening Ash Lash. Opening Act. Sorry about that. My camera stopped recording. So I'm going to be curling my lashes and then I'm going to be using a little bit of Opening Act Lash Primer. For everyday wear, you could just use this and then mascara. Now, a reason why I put that on first is because I do like it to dry because otherwise, if you don't let it dry, the colors can kind of get mixed and it's not the cutest. So that's why I do that. First step, I'm going to be using my Too Faced Matte Bronzer again, the Milk Chocolate one. And I'm just going to take that on a Zoeva cheek brush. And I'm just going to put that on my cheeks, like where the hollows are. And then I'm just going to do my forehead as well. Not too much on the forehead because I overdid it with the cream before. I'm just going to grab like this flat brush here from Zoeva. And I'm just going to grab a tiny bit of that powder and then run it along my nose. Now I'm going to take my Charlotte Tilbury Film Style Bronzing Glow with the contouring colour, so like the bronzing side, and I'm just going to put that in the hollows of my cheeks and just blend it upwards, so just do like little circles. Now I am going to take a little bit of Hoola mixed with Hoola Light, so you can tell that I use Hoola Light a lot more than I do Hoola, but I'm just going to put that on the cheeks as well. I'm going to start off by using MAC Warm Soul. I feel like this is just such a cult favourite. And I'm just going to grab that on like a bigger brush and just kind of like flick off the excess and then just put it on my cheeks. I think I might actually do a little bit of NARS Deep Throat as well, just as kind of like that pink flush. I'm definitely not digging this colour. I used to really, really like it, but I'm definitely not liking it with this look. It looks very like silver which I know I kind of picked it because it was more grey, but I've used it other times and it hasn't looked this silver. I'm also just going to grab a little bit of Rockateur and a little bit of Dandelion, and I'm just going to add that as well. I know it sounds a bit excessive, but honestly, my face just consumes blush. So I'm just going to be taking my Lash Extend by MCO Beauty and just put that on my eyelids. Well, on my eyelashes, I should say. Definitely not my eyelids. Oh, great. Just what I want. I, I was filming another video the other day and the same thing happened to me, so that was great. I am trying to rush through this because it just seems to be getting darker and darker. I am going to scratch off these pieces of mascara that are on my nose because that's just lovely. Let's hope that doesn't happen to me on the day. If you ever have that happen to you, don't go in straight away, let it dry and then go in with your spoolie and just scratch it off. But anyway, I'm going to put on lashes. This is the worst trial ever because I'm kind of like, oh yeah, I'm just going to be doing this, whatever. But it is my first one, like official one here. So I'm going to be using lashes. I have no idea what these ones are. I definitely know that they're model rock and I think they're in the fluffy range. But I've got no idea like what number or anything that they are. But that's fine. I'm going to stick this on my eye and then we're just going to keep powering on. Because I'm really, really worried that I'm going to run out of daylight. Um, because I am dependent on daylight to film these videos. Otherwise, they start getting like really, really blurry and just not cute. I think I'm just getting worse at putting on lashes, honestly. Let's hope that dries down nicely because it definitely does not look nice in real life. I think I've literally stuck it so far up on my lash line. And the weird thing is I never had problem with lashes until recently. Like even like my first few times putting them on, we're fine. Okay, well, I much prefer this eye that's actually stuck on properly to this eye. I don't feel like this is the look. I definitely love the foundation because I used it another time and I love how it looks. But I think it's the eyes for me that's really, like, letting it down. But I'm definitely going to be filming more of these because I need help. Like, up until the point where it's consistent, products are consistent, and I'm like, yep, that is the look. I'm going to put on highlighter. I'm pretty sure I'm going to use this highlighter. It is called Oh My God or OMG by Illamasqua. And I'm going to take that on my Anastasia A23 highlighting brush. Because it's not a highlighter that's too intense. Like, it does give the glow, but it isn't too much. I am so torn to use, like, maybe, like, stone or something, but I haven't worn it in so long. Now that's way too purple, hey? I do have my heart set on truffle, though. I'm definitely going to buy a new one if I end up going with this one, because this one's so dry. I know it sounds silly, but I feel like the lipstick kind of like saved the look. Like it really pulled it all together. I actually don't mind how the rest of the face looks either. 
it's really just the eyeshadow that I'm not like a hundred percent about you know what I mean but I don't mind how the rest of it looks like I like how my skin looks I like the cheek products they don't look too pink but they look pink enough in camera probably could play around with like the bronzer a little bit more maybe like I'll try a few different ones but I think for me the thing that I'm gonna work on for my next video like my next like trial video is going to be the eyes because I am not a fan of how this is today I might use like a pigment or something I sound so negative but I feel like you need to give yourself this type of criticism if you're doing your own makeup for your wedding but besides that I really do quite like it like don't get me wrong I wouldn't hate it if this is how I end up looking the final look there's definitely products in here that I will be using and there'll be products in here that I think I won't be. I don't think I'll be using that Inglot eyeshadow. Not because I don't like it, but I think it's just a bit too silver for me with the rest of the eyeshadow. I think the eyeshadow needs a lot of tweaking. Okay, I think that's a wrap. This is kind of the end result using the products that I used today, as you saw. I'm definitely going to keep using this lipstick, I think. I'm actually going to jump online and put in an order for another one because mine is so dry and I'm definitely going to try and find a different eyeshadow like a different shimmery color or maybe I'll even try like without a shimmer I don't know we'll see on the day obviously I'll use setting spray but I think until I've come to really really love my look I think I will wait overall I wouldn't hate looking like this on the day but I think there are just a few little things that I'd like to tweak and given the fact that I've got the time to do it, I'm definitely going to. So yeah, I'm really, really excited for the next few videos like these and hopefully I don't become too stressed when we get closer and closer to the day. But anyway, guys, that's it for me for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely don't forget to like and subscribe and I will talk to you guys in my next one. See ya.